What's going on guys, so I'm going to show you how to do some real time um, animation rendering using Blender. So basically what I want to show you is basically how to do something like this. I rendered it in very low quality so it wouldn't take me too long to do. For some reason it's going in slow motion. But anyways, something like that. Um, I did not animate them, they are free falling and when you click render it does it on their own. So... I want to show you guys how to do this because I didn't, if, unless I was told how to do it, I don't think I'd be able to. So basically, as you can see here, they are completely animated to fall the exactly, exactly the way that they are. So this happens when you apply something. So I'm going to show you how to do all of this. Let's um, create our area. Cube. Um... Let's color it a color, surprisingly enough. All right, uh, we'll just put two in this scene. That way, it does it doesn't take too long. Uh, better angle, and that one could be oh, whoops, and that one could be orange. Here we go. I like using orange. Um, let's make the scene presentable by putting on ambient occlusion and that. And let's turn this into a sun, so you get some um, light in sun. Okay, so that should, you go, yep, that looks nice. Alright, so, what you want to do to start off with, like, these will not animate, these will not fall. Um, some people may go like this and animate in themselves, turn them over, pull them back, whatever. But I'm going to to do it real time. Okay, so basically, swap from up here, swap from Blender Render to Blender Game. Alright, now, click on these objects, turn them into Rigid Body, and I'm going to put on GLSL, if I haven't already got it on, here you go, GLSL, that way the scene looks nice, go into textures, and this is what my scene looks like, and if I press P to play the game, they will fall. Oh. I also, what you should add that I just forgot, is um, go on these, go collision bound. I kind of want to move them to the right like that slightly as well. And push P, they should fall, and kind of hit the ground the same way a cube would, right? So now we basically just want to turn that into an animation, rather than playing it. Because if I go along the timeline, that's not happening for an animation. If I push, take a picture, that won't happen. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, we've really got our cubes falling if I push P. All you do is click game, and click record animation. And then when you press P, leave it for a bit to finish its animation. Click escape, click down here. And now, if I click on an object, one of the objects, that will have animated all of that for you. That is the miracle of this little button here, record animation. That would have recorded all of that for you. And that's all you do. Now if I push take a picture at any stage. It will. Be a part of my animation. And that and basically that's how you do real time animation. I'm not going to do a full recording. But if I did do a f full recording. I'd swap back to render. Animate. And I can I guess I can show you guys just what it looks like briefly. Uh, let me um. Swap back to like 25, that way it does it really quick. There you go. And if you look at the rendering, you can see the boxes fall in. And it will render out this whole scene for you. There you go. But I'm not going to do that because it's going to take a while. Um, I hope this helped anyone who was stuck on how to do this. It's a very simple thing. It's just if you don't know how to do it, you won't be able to. Uh, I hope, like I said, this helped anyone. hope you enjoyed the video. And... Bye-bye.